the pan international or pest reduction network uh, and its regional centers has been observing no pest use day initially on 3rd december commemorating the bhopal uh, disaster anniversary to remind the world that uh, bhopals are happening around us all over the world and we need to be mindful we need to act we need to have policies we need to work with communities we build communities and empower communities to uh, overcome the crisis and under identify the crisis and overcome the crisis uh, primarily the no pesticide use week is a reminder to the world that things are not okay there are problems if you look at uh, the current global crisis one of the major crises is the collapse of pollinators second is a crisis for humanity and when it comes to humanity the the biggest crisis we are facing is that today uh, newborns are born with uh, pre polluted or preloaded uh, pesticides and chemicals in their blood it is a bit uh, worrying and uh, it is a really kind of a scary scenario that uh, the there is uh, pesticides and other chemicals uh, identified from the umbilical cord blood and in a human society the most respected and uh, the sacred uh, human uh, connection is the umbilical cord connection and if that has uh, uh, pollutants in that and uh, between the mother and the baby in the womb uh, the pesticides or chemicals trespass the 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 barriers and reach the the the, the womb or the, the or the embryo uh, is one of the biggest challenges we are facing today and that has resulted in a variety of human issues uh, the the earlier uh, uh, pollu I mean, uh, exposure to insecticides and pesticides are causing harms which are not imagined by any any current science and uh, many are little difficult to uh, identify and locate in its early uh, exposure phases and we have a major, major crisis of pesticides in human life. Uh, earlier, mostly the pesticides post Second World War has been used in the agriculture sector. But today, I, uh, we are afraid that uh, there is uh, pesticides trespassing into every aspect. Whether uh, think about the uh, the, uh, the lice control shampoos or, or uh, the mosquito control. Uh, uh, convenient uh, different gadgets you get it for saving the home to uh, paints at home to uh, all the home care uh, or uh, products or uh, stationaries or TVs and mobile phones what not so we are we are in a pesticide laden world and we re we really really need to get out of it tunnel also try to uh, spread its uh, awareness programs on no pesticide use week. Uh, we had uh, programs with uh, social media program uh, postings and engagements and conversations on uh, harmful effects of pesticides. We, and we also did a, uh, a session with the uh, uh, LBS Engineering College. Uh, engineering, uh, this is a women's college, so the girls who are into their uh, engineering profession, uh, we had a very intense, uh, uh, more than an hour kind of a conversation on uh, pesticides impact on uh, people and uh, and the general environmental issues around the world. So we were quite happy to see that it was well received by the students and they are keen to engage further and move forward. And we are hoping that uh, the No Pesticide Use Week will slowly spread into a uh, No Pesticide uh, conversation every day in 2022. Uh, good news is that pesticides are totally replaceable and we are seeing that happening all over the world, in small communities, in rural communities, in urban poor and urban communities, we see the the, the hope of uh, uh, biology replacing chemistry, or in other words, uh, the man's uh, uh, greed for uh, synthetic chemicals has been replaced more by working together with the ecosystems and coming with solutions to manage uh, uh, pest attacks to crops, to manage uh, problems. Uh, uh, that uh, you face in uh, all kind of uh, uh, human uh, endeavors and activities in our society. So that is a good news and uh, that is one of the reasons why every year we have this one week reminding the world and reminding each of us that uh, uh, pesticides are damaging our lives and we really need to act and this is a day for call of action and 
for me, I have been traveling with uh, the Nopes Series Day right from 1999, and uh, it is uh, a, 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 a great mo moment we are seeing when I look back in 2021 to the last uh, more than uh, 20 years. We see that uh, there is hope. Uh, there is more young people getting act active on it. There are several women who are playing active role, and slowly the society is changing to uh, to positive side. But uh, the pace at which things are happening is not very promising. So we re really need to put up our put more pressure and uh, more radical changes so that uh, we will have uh, uh, sacredness back to human societies and human bodies, and uh, the body bur burden need to be get rid of. And uh, again, the good news is that uh, many of us, like uh, people like me with 60 years, it may be difficult to uh, detox, but a newborn child, uh, if we choose, we can give him a toxic-free world. And that is the choice of each of us. And I think humanity has a big responsibility in giving a toxic-free world to the newborn child. And it is not a negotiable opportunity. It is the right of the child to be in a toxic-free society. Thank you.